<clears throat> okay. Delicious room. Wow, a candy castle! There are even some fairies over there! This room seems to be structured in the same way as Master's room. But it's nowhere near as cold. This room also seems to have been fitted with a temperature control panel. Ah, it's over by that orange lamp, right? Indeed! Let's not forget to invest investigate it later. Looks like this room is on the green setting. Even so, this room is like something out of a fairy tale. Is this cream covered de castle Delicia's work? Where is Delicia? That was. That had too much personality in it. Boy, can I help you? Oh my gosh. You're adorable. Hello, boys. I'm Delicious Scones. In my native England, I'm known as Miss Delicious. I've been called a boy even though I'm already 34. It's certainly a rare experience. This is going to be exhausting. Boys, I understand you calling me that, but Mr. Edgeworth? As far as I'm concerned, you're all boys to me. I have, I have never done a Cockney accent. Please forgive me. Even that detective over there. Over there. I don't... Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. My name is bad. Not boy. Just how old is this woman? Mr. Attorney, let's just finish our business here. Hmm. Right. Uh-oh. You! What do you think you're doing? Conversing with a mere attorney? Mr. Edgeworth, a scary man came out of this candy castle! Von Karma. Hey, eh? That man is... Prosecutor Von Karma? Eep! Manny! So he's Gregory Von Karma... So he's... Sorry. <laughs> It's reading who it w who was talking and accidentally put his name into the sentence. So he's Von Karma. Pleased to meet you, Prosecutor Von Karma. My name is Gregory Edgeworth, defense attorney. Bah! I have no interest in the names of defense attorneys. After all, they only exist to be crushed by me. What a rude man. A piercing gaze and furrowed brow. Ugh. He's even scarier than the rumors say. Although that statement was also very rude. Prosecutor Von Karma, would you allow us to investigate too? Hmph. <laughs> you think I would give information to a mere defense attorney? As I thought. It won't be that simple. However, I'll make you a special, special exception for this room. Why did he change his mind so quickly? You, old bloodhound. Don't call me that. My name is, my name is Bad. Gosh, it's going to be hard transi transitioning between their voices. Ha! A mere detective speaking back to me. I admire your courage, at least. Bad. Stand watch and see to, the, to it that they don't misbehave. Why me? I will not accept your refusal. Well then, I will be investigating Gustavia's room next. Goodbye, don't come back. Shh. Babysitting again. I wonder why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Instead of being on bad terms, it seems like they hardly know each other. Mr. Edgeworth, now that they've got Von Karma's perm now that we've got Von Karma's permission, we can continue investigating. Yes, his manners bother me, but, it, but I am glad we can get at le we can at least continue this investigation. Hold it. I also need to investigate this room. I don't want you disturbing the room. So you'll investigate after me. What? Aren't you the, aren't you the detective in charge of this case? Why haven't you investigated this room yet? The detective in charge of the initial investigation was a close colleague of Von Karma. I came to take over for him, so I only got to this mansion just recently. 
So that's why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Detector Bad. Will you allow us to investigate with you like before? In doing so, you'll be able to su supervise us and also ensure we don't tamper with anything. You want me to watch you? You're a strange lawyer. Hm. I'll let you stick around. A little longer. Yay! You did it, Mr. Edgeworth! Thank you, Detective Bad! But if I decide you're holding up the investigation, you'll have to leave. Yes, I understand. Well then, let's begin the investigation. Can't believe this amazing castle is made entirely out of confectionery. I know, what a work of fantasy. It's like a fairy tale world. You like all this fairy tale stuff, don't you? Ah, sorry, I got a bit too excited, didn't I? No, it's interesting to me since you're so enthusiastic about it, unlike my son. Your son? He's only in grade school, yet he prefers to read law books instead of fairy tales. I'm worried that he won't be able to make any friends that he can talk to. Heh, what an interesting kid. I'd like to be his friend. Aha! I think you'd be more of an older brother to him. <laughs> an older brother, huh? Well, I've got some growing, growing up to do then. Yes, and that's why we have to continue with this investigation. How old is Ray right now? 18, okay. And you? Question marks. Of course. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Looks like something's missing here. Hmm. This pillar has a hexagonal recess. Looks like a pedestal, but it has nothing in it. A hexagonal recess, huh? Wonder what would have been put in there. A giant strawberry. Would fit with the fresh cream. Detective Bad, I don't think strawberries are hexagonal. I was just hoping. And I hope it's a banana. I think I'd prefer blueberries. These guys are wacky. They're a wacky bunch. Castle doors are open. If someone opens opens a the door, they should they really should remember to close it afterwards. Will you say that directly to Prosecutor Von Karma, though? Huh? Looks like there's some stuff inside. Hmm. Let's see. Wait. I'll examine it. Stay out of the way. Shh. This fresh cream melts too easily. Hmm. The cream is melting. Seems like the detective's bad shoes got covered in cream. Good job. Why were these objects kept inside the candy castle? If there's anything you want to investigate, you better speak up now. Uh, those things? Two big rocks are placed here. It's like a storage room. Yeah, the inside of the candy castle isn't so dreamy. Hey! Maybe they're raw gemstones? Who knew that there were such hit such treasures hidden within the castle? Seems like a rather careless way to handle treasure. Hmm? Looks like there's something underneath the rocks. Seems there's a pedestal attached to what both of the rocks. Of course, it's a pedestal for displaying the gems. Well, in any case, this is no ordinary object. There are rolls of blue cloth here. Looks like there's four of them in all. They certainly don't look like desserts. Yeah, actually they kind of do. I don't know what the, what the cloth is for. It almost seems like it was hidden here inside the castle. Also, the color of this cloth looks familiar somehow. This familiar blue color. Hmm. Hmm. 
It says, the four fairies and the curious candy castle. It seems that this was the theme for Delicious Works. But it's not just the candy castle that I'm curious about. Here are all the tools used to make desserts. Everything from a bucket of fresh cream to a brush and a trowel. Looks more like a construction worker's tools. Hey now, boys! Oh man. How do I do? How do I do? Hey now, boys. Don't... Don't under... Under... What? Under sweet mate? The work of a pastry chef? It's completely different from, a, from construction work, where they cover the walls with cement. We use the trowel to smear, smear the cream. And the brush to clean any uneven part. All right. Ah, I can't do it. Hmm. Trying to think. Trying to think of the right how to do the voice. I'll figure it out eventually. Hopefully. How is that different from from construction work? All right. We're moving on. Not going to talk to her yet. Cute candy fairy sitting on a tree stump. Hmm. Cream decorations are melting. Fairy seems to be well made, but something feels slightly off. Can't walk around the bin. The outside or the back. Got the dirty in here. There's a burner and some chemicals over here. They're probably used to make desserts. What are these chemicals? Writing on the label says, number one, punch out, and number two, suffering. Are they poisons? No, they are both used to make desserts. Seems to be artificial flavoring and coloring. Punch out is a catchy name for a fruit punch essence. Shh. Very misleading. What bothers me is what suffering stands for. Yeah, let's talk to him. Don't turn around, don't turn around. If you do, you're only gonna eat that castle. This forensics officer seems to be on a diet. There's a cover on the wall, just like in Mr. Master's room. Let's open it up. Hmm, the room temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The lights are set to green. Gustavia said. That 50 degrees is the ideal temperature for fresh cream. This room's temperature is too high. This is intriguing. Is this going to say the same thing? Yep. Okay, let's try some logic. Wow, we got a lot. Well, we got the pedestals and the pedestals. <clears throat> rock's pedestal has a similar shape to the recesses on the castle's pillars. Perhaps the rock is meant to be placed on top of the pillars? Oh, that's right. They're both hexagonal. I wonder why they were hidden inside the castle, though. Blue cloth and the, and the rocks inside the castle. I wonder if they belong to Delicia. Delicia, those things in the castle, what are they used for? Ah, uh, those? I'm afraid I can't tell you. Looks like Von Karma is keeping her silent. Eep! I found out. You'll get mad if I talk. You're mad at me if I talk. Prosecutor Von Karma doesn't intend on being upfront with his information. Information. Ah, uh, such a shame. We finally figured out where the rocks are supposed to go. Could it be? You're interested in my goods? Eh? Your goods? Those are my popular re relaxation goods. You mean? Rocks and the cloth? Yes, yeah, see? That's right. You see, they're not actually rocks, but special lamps made from rock salt. Okay, I'm getting it now. Wow, so those are lamps. Ha 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 ha! It gets even more exciting! More exciting. Because this cloth also has an amazing secret! 
Yeah, I'm losing it. As soon as we showed interest in our goods, she became quite talkative. Deep breath. Deep breath. Think of Luke. Think of Luke, Luke Triton. Since we've got them, come experience the therapy, boys. Betty, could you put everything up? It's not Betty. It's bad. So you won't do it? Is Patty being a bad boy? Labby, are you done photographing this room? Yes, sir, I am. Then go help Delisha. Yes, sir, I'm on it. Ha 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 ha! Thanks! I knew you were a good boy underneath, Patty. Miss Delicious, that was amazing. You even persuaded Detective Bad. Thanks a lot, Batty. And you two friendsies. She even gave the forensics a nickname. I think that's her way of showing that she cares. What's so therapeutic about these things, anyway? We don't have time for that now, Batty. The show's just about to begin. Frenzies, finishing touches, please. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. It's... Wow, it's so beautiful. It really is. Wish my son could see this. Boy, I told you so, right? Four fairies in the Curious Candy Castle. was the theme of my wor work. How does... Oh. Okay. Focus. Focus. Just think. Think Luke. So sparkly and cute, right? Nope. It's too much. Seems like one of them is missing something. The truth is, I planned to unveil it during the contest. Well, I'm glad I got to show it to you boys. Huh? But it doesn't look like the rock salt lamps are lighting up. Huh? I wonder why. I think I'll need to examine the rocks and the fairies again. Let's do that then. Uh oh. Okay. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspic suspicious looking nook and cranny. It looks like both of the lamps and the pillars are broken. Both of their light, bulb light bulbs are broken. Oh, both of the light bulbs are broken. Maybe they were dropped on the floor. There's some sort of red stain on this lamp's surface. A stain! Could it be? That smell. There's no mistaking it. It's blood. It's a blood stain. Hey! That's a blood stain. Why is there a blood stain on this lamp? I wonder if this has something to do with the lamp bulb being broken. We should also take a look at the other lamp here. Let's do that. So this is where Delisha originally intended to put the lamps. I don't get why she put them in the castle. Since they're broken and don't light up, maybe she decided to put them out put them out of the way. If she wanted them out of the way, there are many other places to store them. It's like that old saying, hide the salt in the sugar bag. I think the saying goes, hide a tree in the forest. Jalisha intended to use these lamps as decorations during the contest. Creates a contradiction, a piece of evidence. I need to, dedu to, to deduce the contradiction at the scene. Uh, hang on. I wasn't exactly paying attention there. What exactly did he say? Hmm. She said that they're rock salt. Oops. Okay, I guess we're examining the door. This dessert made my shoes all dirty. Dirty. If you come any closer, your shoes will be covered in cream, too. We've already seen what's behind the door. There's no need to look again. The castle door is, adorn is adorned with be a beautiful cloth. I think this was the cloth that was in the castle. Entrance ways are always beautiful. That's what a detective thinks. Yes, after Detective's bad shoes have, have trampled all over it. 
But, this is no time for snide remarks. Let's try some logic, real quick. Um, Rim is melting. High room temperature. Whoosh. The reason for the fresh cream is so the reason the fresh cream is so fragile is due to the temperature in this room. So my shoes got creamed because the room temperature is set to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Speaking of which, when you open the castle door, doorknob didn't break. Yeah, it was stronger than I thought. Strong? A dessert? Detective Bad. Could you have a closer look at that doorknob? This is. It would seem this doorknob isn't a dessert. And it's not just a doorknob. This castle and the fairies are just plastic molds coated in, coated in fresh cream. Eee! Then this isn't a dessert piece at all. It would seem they're just fake desserts covered in fresh cream. What are her true intentions? Hmm. <laughs> Beaten to death. Bloodstained rock salt lamp. Whoosh. There's evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. What's more, there's a blood stain on one of the broken rock salt lamps. Could this lamp have been the murder weapon? You're right, it could have been used as a weapon. Wabby, is the blood analysis on those rocks out lamp finished? Yes, sir. It finished just a few moments ago. Blood stain on that, on that lamp belonged to the victim. You heard what he said. The murder weapon was hidden in Delicious' room. We need to consider her as one of the suspects as well. Okay, any more logic we can do? I don't think so. No. So I have to deduce something. Um, let's check this out in closer detail. Why don't we? This rock salt lamp has a hex hexagonal base. The recess in the pillars must have made must have been made to match this shape. After all, they fit the pillars in the candy castle perfectly. This rock salt lamp doesn't light up. Hmm. It's a shame, but it appears to be broken. Oh, I really wanted to see it light up. I wanted to experience the calm and glow, too. Maybe I should try putting one in the office. Okay. There's a key. That's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. So we've got our rules here. Saying that... Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. So, I suppose we point out the cloth. Cloth is probably not edible. Not edible. Not easily, anyway. Or maybe it's the doorknob. I don't know. Let's try try this first. Detective Bad, please read the contest leaflet. Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. Huh. These rock salt lamps and the fluorescent cloths go against the rules. You can eat rock salt. What do you think you put on your food all the time? Come on. Come on, Edgeworth. So maybe that's why they were hidden in the castle. I wonder about that. I think we should investigate further into Delicia's, Delicia's actions. Okie doke. Um, I guess these connect, right? I mean, they do, right? Whoosh! Using decorations that were against the rules, and making fake desserts. A lot of Delicia's actions seem, seem suspicious. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she's aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. 
Also, the, temp the temperature of this room is way too high. Is there a reason for that? I wonder. I think we should ask Delisha directly. Okay. Ah. <sighs> huh? Miss Delicious. You don't seem as energetic as you were earlier. Delisha, can I ask you? Can I just ask? Did something happen with Von Karma? Yes, see. Nothing of the sort. Uh. But you just said yes, see. You know what? I'm going to give up on the Cockney. Ha 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 ha. That yes, see just now is only a greeting. You're a cute boy. I like you. What's your first name? Eh? It's Raymond, but... Well, Ray Ray, I think you'll make a good man of yourself someday. Ray Ray? How about that? I think you have a way with the British la with British ladies. She's a little different from my Im image of a lady. Why don't we listen to what she has to say? Okay, during the contest. Could you tell me about your actions during the contest? Yes, yeah, see. We began making des desserts for the contest around 10 o'clock. Basically, I was in here making my desserts the whole time. At half past one, I joined the afternoon tea for about an hour or so. Afternoon tea? It's a social occasion. Conversation is had over black tea and cakes. Um, so it's pretty much a tea party. Well, I suppose. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Greggy, you're a smart boy, aren't you? When did I become Greggy? Where was the afternoon tea held? It took place in the gardens, outside of the fountain patio. It's our customary break time during the contest. It's always held at the same time. Today there were just three of us who took part. Jeffy, Katie, and me. Since Jeffy had already finished his creations, he was there from beginning to end. Icy and Gus Goosty didn't join in because they hadn't finished their desserts yet. So everyone other than Mr. Dover and Mr. Gustavia particip participated. Yes, actually, I hadn't finished my dessert yet either. I just wanted to try some of Jeffy's handmade pastries and Katie's fresh brewed, cu fresh brewed tea. So after I had eaten my fill, I returned it before everyone else. During the contest, did you enter any of the other contestants' rooms? Eh? What are you saying? We well, you found your fingerprints on the desserts at the crime scene. Eep! You found them? Are you admitting that you went to the crime to the scene of the murder? Sob, I admit it. But I'm not the murderer. It's the honest truth. Please hear me out. The honest truth. What were you doing in Mr. Master's room? The truth is... I'm gonna try again, I'm gonna try again. The truth is, I was studying his desserts. Studying? Because Jeff is so talented at making sweets. Well, nobody was in his room at the time, so I just decided to study his work works for a bit. But if you were just looking... You wouldn't have left your fingerprints behind. Yes, see, it's natural that I left thing fingerprints on the desserts. For the sake of research, <laughs> I can't do it. Research, research. How how would how would you how would you say that? I ate some of the des some of his desert desserts. Hey, isn't that like stealing food? It couldn't be. The one who wrecked Mr. Master's room was. Sob. I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention to vandalize the room, but I did eat a few par parts of parts of the dessert desserts in his room. I secretly ate little bits and pieces so Je Jeffy wouldn't find out. So, did you eat the ship sand as well? Yes, see, I did. The chocolate ship broke. Because of you. Heep. I'm sorry. So the reason she left the afternoon tea early was to preserve her appetite. 
But you've got to believe me on this. I'm not the murderer. Her actions are sufficiently suspicious, but I won't press on it, press on it yet. Alicia, why is the room temperature set to 68 degrees Fahrenheit? The code doesn't agree with me. Plus, it's bad for the body. This figure doesn't doesn't just maintain itself, you know. Naturally, as a lady, I want to look young forever. I wonder how old Miss Deli Delicious really is. Raymond, a true gentleman never asks a woman her age. This room is mainly filled with cream, and 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the recommended temperature for preserving fresh cream. What? Really? Now it's all gone to waste. Looks like Mrs. Miss Delicious didn't know. Hmm. How suspicious. Miss Delicious is suspicious. Hmm. I thought she was supposed to be a first class pastry chef. Fake desserts and the rules, rule violations. And now, her lack of basic knowledge. Looks like she keeps many secrets. Okay, logic time. Wait. Mm, those don't match, do they? Maybe not. Let's try it. Whoosh! Awesome. Delicious knowledge in the art of, of dessert making is lacking in fundamental areas. And she claims she went into, the ma into Mr. Master's room in order to study his desserts. These actions and ideas are not fitting of someone aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Yeah, they don't sound like the words of, of a pro. It's like she doesn't even realize it. Or, or maybe she isn't a real pastry chef. Perhaps she had some other intention. It's possible that she didn't go into the room to study desserts. So then, are you saying Miss Delicious is the criminal? We well, can't say that for sure yet. But I know she's hiding something from us. So we talk to her again. Do you present something? Do you present the fake desserts? Oi! The thing you've got there is a rather cute, Gregory. Greggy. But the color is rather unappealing. Now, if I were to coat it in fresh cream. Okay, it's nothing. Let's try. Nah. Let's try this. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Well, I don't know. There's nothing else. What? Finished all our logic. Dr. Ray? Sickly sweet smell of cream. Yes, this truly is a fairy tale world. And yet, here in this sugary sweet room, there is, there is one with such a sour face. It doesn't belong in this room. That scary old man. Raymond, mind what you say. You're being a bit rude. Sorry. Won't happen again. Reminded me of my old school teacher, who used to get mad at me a lot. School teacher. I definitely don't want to think of my son being taught by such a man. Mm. Detective, what do you think? What? Notice anything? This room has the same design as Master's room. Is something bothering you? Von Karma was investigating inside the Candy Castle. I wonder why. Detective Bad, do you suspect Delicia? That woman is hiding something. My detective spirit is telling me so. Is that his detective's, in detective's intuition? Something about this room definitely troubles me as well. I should listen to what Delisha has to say. I did. The desserts here 
are all fake. What a phony pony. This is the contest to decide the world's greatest pastry chef. Why did she do something like that? Which would immediately give her away. I guess she was naive enough that she thought she could get away with it. Perhaps. Or perhaps. Her true goal. I feel like I know what it is. I hold the fragmented piece of information. Pieces of information. Now all I have to do is combine them. And I did. Since the circumstances have changed, we should investigate the scene once more. Yes! Fluorescent cloth behind the fairy dolls. And the rock salt lamp concerns me. Why were they in the cas castle? No. Why were they hidden inside the castle? I knew it. That woman. Smells. But not a sugary sweet smell. We need to have another look. See if there are any problems with that s at the scene. And we did that. It's all over there. We didn't examine these though again, did we? Did we? Unlike the other fairies, this one doesn't have a fluorescent cloth. Miss Delicious, it's not right to leave one out. I don't like it either. But one fluorescent cloth and a machine has gone missing. You lost a cloth and a machine? What sort of machine is it? Boy, let me tell you. Each piece of fluorescent cloth is hooked up to one of these machines. The machine is called a rainbow light device. Light is sent through the cable and into the cloth, which is made out of, made of optic fibers. Just fiddle around with red settings a bit, it will turn on into all sorts of colors. Of, of colors. When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno. When it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice. It's powered by a long, long-lasting battery that's resistant to changes in the temperature. Um, I'm not very familiar with these kinds of dice devices. Mr. Edgeworth, she's saying it's a machine that transmits light to the special cloth. I see. It's amazing what they come up with these days. So, one rainbow light device and one flirt fluorescent cloth are missing. You see, that's right. Wherever they could wherever could they be? This fluorescent cloth. Could could it be related to the case? There we go.